Do tornadoes really twist? Questions and answers about tornadoes and hurricanes. This is the title page. It's by Melvin and Gilda Berger, illustrated by Higgins Bond. Introduction. Tornadoes and hurricanes are among the most violent and terrifying of all natural events. No one who has lived through them ever forgets the strength and fury of these storms. Perhaps you've been caught in a tornado or hurricane, or you may have seen pictures on television or read about them. Either way, you probably have lots of questions. Do you wonder how these storms start? When and where they strike? How much damage they do? Whether people can stop a tornado? Which was the worst hurricane in history? What you should do during a tornado or hurricane? Do tornadoes really twist? Answers all these questions and many, many more. It also gives lots of information and weird facts you can use to astound and amaze your friends. So what are you waiting for? Turn the page and enter the scary world of tornadoes and hurricanes. Tornadoes, what and why? Do tornadoes really twist? Yes. At the center of the storm, tornado winds spin around at very high speeds. Some twist and twirl at more than 300 miles an hour. Tornado winds are the hardest blowing winds on earth. Small wonder that tornadoes are called twisters. What is a tornado? A severe windstorm. You know it's a tornado when you spot a twisting, spinning funnel reaching down from a huge dark cloud. The funnel looks like a giant elephant, like a huge elephant trunk swinging back and forth. A tornado funnel can be 10 feet to slightly over one mile wide. Some funnels do not extend to the earth. Others touch down and race across land. Still others skip or leap from one point to another. They touch down, plow a path of destruction, and rise up into the air. What color are tornado funnels? Most are white or clear in color at first. They may even seem to shimmer in the light. When they touch ground, however, the funnels turn black or dark gray as they sweep up tons of dirt, dust, and debris. What happens before a tornado? A severe thunderstorm strikes the area. Very few thunderstorms produce tornadoes, but every tornado is formed by a parent thunderstorm. Do hailstones fall before a tornado? Quite often. The strong thunderstorms that create tornadoes often produce hailstones as well. Hailstones form when winds carrying raindrops up to where it is very cold. The raindrops freeze and become bits of ice. The ice lumps start to fall and collide with drops of water in the clouds. The water freezes onto the ice bits, making them grow larger. This happens again and again until the icy lumps are big and heavy. Then they fall to the earth as hailstones. How do tornadoes grow out of thunderstorms? No one is quite sure. Scientists have several theories about how tornadoes form and are working hard to understand them better. Some severe thunderstorms produce the powerful twisting winds of a tornado, but most thunderstorms do not, and scientists are trying to find out why. Do tornado winds always twist in the same direction? No. In the northern hemisphere, most tornadoes twist counterclockwise. In the southern hemisphere, most twist clockwise. How big are tornadoes? Not big at all. Tornadoes are usually less than one mile wide and travel along paths that are no more than 16 miles long. Tornadoes may be small, but their power and violence cause great devastation. How long do tornadoes last? Usually less than one hour. Some tornadoes die out in just a few minutes. Groups of tornadoes sometimes form at about the same time. These tornadoes strike one after another, creating stormy conditions for several hours. In which direction do tornadoes move? 
In the United States, most move from the southwest to the northeast. This is because tornadoes travel with their parent thunderstorms, which usually go in this direction. Weather experts map the movement of tornadoes by marking the tracks tornadoes leave when they touch the earth. How fast do tornadoes move? About 35 miles an hour. The most dangerous ones reach speeds as high as 70 miles an hour. The fastest moving tornado on record occurred on March 18, 1925. The storm passed through the middle of the United States at a speed up of a freight train up to 73 miles an hour. Do tornadoes make noise? Yes. The powerful spinning funnel wind often makes a shrill hissing or whistling noise that you can hear for miles around. Some say the sound is like the buzzing of a million bees. When the tornado touches down and rips across the earth, the sound changes. The hiss becomes a loud, deafening roar. People compare it to the noise of 100 jumbo jets taking off at the same time. Others say it is more like the sound of a speeding train rumbling through a narrow tunnel. Either way, the noise of a tornado is not one that you would soon forget. Do tornadoes make houses explode? No. In the past, scientists thought tornadoes created a vacuum that made houses explode but now they know that's not true. Houses often just seem to have exploded because the strong winds blow off their roofs and walls. How much damage do tornadoes cause? Plenty. The powerful twisting winds of a tornado can pick up objects as big as trains, carry them aloft, and then smash them down on the ground. Do you remember the tornado in The Wizard of Oz? The storm comes to Kansas, picks up Dorothy's house, and carries it far, far away to the magical land of Oz. That was just a movie, but tornadoes have lifted whole houses off their foundations and moved them many feet away. Tornado damage stays within a narrow path. A house on one side of a street may be smashed to bits. A house on the other side will often not even have one broken window. Are tornadoes always violent? Yes but sometimes the tornado's winds lift up objects and then set them down safely. One tornado picked up a crate of eggs, carried it 500 yards, and placed it on the ground without cracking a single shell. Another tornado near Ancona, Italy in September 1981 hoisted a carriage with a sleeping baby 50 feet into the air. It then set the carriage down nearly 330 feet away without even waking the child. What happens when a tornado passes over water? You get a water spout. Instead of pulling up dirt and debris, the tornado pulls up water. Most water spouts last about a half hour. The funnel winds spin more slowly over water than on land. Tornadoes, when and where? When do tornadoes occur? All year long. But most tornadoes come between April and June, with the highest number in May. The fewest occur during December and January. Tornadoes can form at any time of day or night, but most develop late in the afternoon, the warmest time of the day. The largest number touch down between 4 and 6 p.m. Where do most tornadoes strike? The midsection of the United States and Canada but every state of the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii, has had at least one tornado. The record for most tornadoes in the United States was set in April 1974. During one 24-hour period, 148 tornadoes slammed through the South and Midwest. What is Tornado Alley? A stretch of land in the middle of the United States. Tornado Alley includes parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, Arkansas, Iowa, Alabama, Florida, and Mississippi. More tornadoes pass through this area than anywhere else in the world. Thunderstorms form in Tornado Alley when cold air flowing across the Rocky Mountains meets warm air flowing up from the Gulf of Mexico. Only a few of the thousands of thunderstorms that form there produce tornadoes. How many tornadoes occur each year in the United States? 
about 800. Because it is so huge, Texas has more tornadoes than any other states, an average of 139 a year. In 1967, and again in 1995, 232 twisters struck this state. But central Oklahoma is struck by tornadoes more often than any place in the, else in the world. Can mountains stop a tornado? No. Every once in a while, tornadoes do occur in mountainous country. A good example is the tornado that passed near Jackson, Wyoming on July 21, 1987. The storm swept over mountains as high as 10,000 feet without the winds losing their force. Can tornadoes strike more than once in the same place? They sure can. Two tornadoes hit the city of Austin, Texas within a half hour on May 4, 1922. Oklahoma City has been struck 33 times in the last 90 years, making it the most tornado-battered city in the entire country. Which was the worst tornado of all time? The tornado of March 18, 1925. This wild storm mostly moved in a straight line from Missouri to Indiana. Since it occurred long before the National Weather Service issued, Service issued tornado watches and warnings, the storm caught many people off guard without time to run for shelter. Everything about the 1925 tornado was monstrous. The path was 219 miles. The speed was as high as 73 miles an hour. The width was one mile. Area of destruction was 164 square miles. The duration of the storm was of the tornado was 300, three and a half hours. There were 2,027 people injured and 689 people were killed. The damage caused by the storm cost $17 million. Which tornado had the longest path? The twister of May 26, 1917. The storm smashed a path 293 miles long from the town of Louisiana, Missouri, all the way to Gen Jennings County, Indiana. Which tornado almost wiped out a town? The one that struck the small town of Coatesville, Indiana, population 500. On the evening of March 26, 1948, the destructive winds leveled four out of every five buildings, killed 16 people, and injured 150 more. When did a series of tornadoes strike 13 states? April 3rd to 4th, 1974. A cluster of 148 tornadoes struck parts of 13 states. Experts tell us the storm claimed 308 lives, sent 6,000 people to the hospital, and caused $600 million in damage. The number of injured soared because people did not pay attention to the tornado warnings and didn't know how to stay safe during the storm. Which tornado took the most lives? A tornado in the country of Bangladesh in, on April 26, 1989. The dreadful storm left 1,300 people dead. How many die in tornadoes each year in the U.S.? About 100 people. Between 1916 and 1953, the average yearly death toll in the, in the United States was 230. In the years since then, as the warning system improved, the number has dropped substantially. By far the worst single year was 1925 when 842 people lost their lives in tornadoes. What are some unusual tornado facts? The tornado of April 16, 1880, tore apart a house near Marshall, Missouri and dropped the heavy timbers 12 miles away. The winds of the June 23, 1944 tornado blew all the water out of the West Fork River in West Virginia for a few minutes. The tornado of June 10, 1958, sucked a woman out of a window in her El Dorado, Kansas home. The winds carried her 60 feet and gently dropped her to the ground. She landed in a pile of storm debris. Right next to her was a phonograph re record of the song Stormy Weather. Can trains survive tornadoes? Not if they're in the path of a tornado. 
A powerful tornado struck a moving train near Moorhead, Minnesota on May 27, 1931. The storm lifted an 83-ton railroad car with 117 passengers off the tracks and dropped it in a ditch 80 feet away. A train carrying brand new cars was passing through Ohio when a tornado hit. In just a few minutes, the tornado broke the windows of every single car. Which tornado was the strongest of all? The one that touched down in Great Bend, Kansas in November 1915. The strong winds of this tornado blew a check to Palmyria, Nebraska, a full 305 miles away, the farthest that a tornado has ever carried debris, picked up some 45,000 ducks and then rained them down to the earth ripped off one wall of Grant Jones's grocery store, but didn't disturb the cans and boxes on the shelves against that wall. Despite all that happened in Great Bend, farmers two miles away knew nothing of the tornado. Who studies tornadoes? Weather scientists called meteorologists. From the ground, they track the parent thunderstorms of tornadoes with radar. Satellites follow the movement of the storms from high up in space. Meteorologists also launch planes and balloons into areas around a tornado to learn about the surrounding winds and weather conditions. How do scientists rate to tornadoes? By the Fujita Pearson or F scale. Scientists rate the weaker tornadoes F0 or F1. The most violent tornadoes rated F4 or F5 do the most damage and cause the most deaths. Here is the wind speeds for each of the tornadoes rated and also the damage that can be done by them. Is any place safe from tornadoes? No, no place including rivers, lakes, and mountains is safe from tornadoes. What is a tornado watch? A forecast from the meteorologists at the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, that a tornado is possible in your area. Meteorologists broadcast the news over radio and television. They tell listeners that a tornado may develop in the next few hours. What is a tornado warning? An alert issued by the local National Weather Service office that a tornado has been sighted or picked up by weather radar. A tornado warning lets you know a tornado's expected path and urges those at risk to seek shelter immediately. What should you do outdoors in a tornado? Run to the nearest tornado cellar. If this is not possible, lie flat in a ditch or low part of the ground. Cover your head with your hands. Remember that flying debris from tornadoes causes most deaths and injuries. If you're in an automobile, get out right away. Do not try to outrun a tornado. Take shelter in a house or other building. What should you do indoors in a tornado? Move to an underground shelter, such as a basement. If no shelter is available, take cover in an inside closet, bathroom, or hallway on the lowest floor. You can also get under a mattress and cover your head with your hands. Stay away from windows. The glass may shatter. Also, when there's thunder and lightning, avoid touching metal objects or exposed wires. If you're in a mobile home, leave and take shelter in another building or a ditch. Tornadoes lift and wreck mobile homes as if they were made of paper. Okay, if you want to find out the hurricanes what and why, please see the second video on the what and why of hurricanes.